the film's about a woman who after surgery um, has this re-questioning of her life and travels to this retreat in the remoteness of Scotland with her nurse. And there she sort of finds within the land the strength to confront her past and in that process also learns to have meaningful connections with others. Um, who's her nurse Desi who becomes a sort of surrogate sort of daughter figure. Within that we sort of explored lots of different layers like the unconscious and dreams and the sort of psychological DNA that we carry within us, you know, the power of the land, the power of the earth, um, cosmos. the cosmos, the infinitely big, how it reflects in the infinitely small. There's kind of secret dialogues in a way. This is the person who creates the space mm -hmm. for magic so to happen. Mm -hmm. The wizard. If you, if you opened yourself to it, you really did feel the presence of those women. Um, it's, a, it's an extraordinarily intense geography, actually. And it was pretty cold. Oh my we, God. We, we, it was quite extreme, the, the weather. It's yeah. cold. I mean, even the grass frying over, like you have this, this freezing element where you're walking through a field leading up to the house. And, you know, these, this beautiful landscape is just frozen into these ice sculptures. It's, it's gorgeous, but it's also, it can be terrifying. For me, the, the only story at the moment, and there are many paths to telling that story, is the story of climate crisis. Whatever route you take, it's um, truly the only thing to talk about as far as I'm concerned at the moment. In order to fix an environmental issue, we have to fix so many social issues that stand exactly. in the way of yeah. that. It's true. There's a quote, and I can't remember who said it, but he, he said, what we're facing is not necessarily an environmental issue as much as it is a societal social issue. We just all have to use these storytelling platforms to, to convey the need to reimagine. We can only hope to, to tell stories that, you know, I don't know why we tell stories. We're sort of inhabited by it, isn't it? And we sort of have a compulsion to do it. And, and horror is, is a wonderful way because you're, you're so right when you say it opens the frame. Mm -hmm. You can go anywhere. Yeah. Whereas if, you, if it's a very realistic drama, you're, you're pretty much confined um, and that has its place. But horror does open up the potential to take you to other dimensions. And right now, that's where we've got to that's right. inhabit to reimagine what, we, what we're doing. Women are, are finding a voice in the most wonderful way, mm -hmm. um, from many different directions. But it doesn't work if it's only one group. We have to work together right. across race, across ethnicity, yes. across sexual 100%. identity. If we don't do that, we're lost and we'll take everything down with us. <laughs>